Edwin, it's a hard trip you have ahead of you, Miss Jane. I hope you feel equal to it. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Cathers. From so long a trip alone. Oh, that's all right. Dad will have someone meet me at Bear Creek to take me the rest of the way across the desert. Well, I guess it's time for that stagecoach. Tell your dad that after I drive the herd in next fall, I'll drop in and see him. You know, Mr. Cather, I'm worried about him. He's been sick a long time. <laughs> Don't you worry about him. He'll pull through all right. Why, he's got a lot of good years ahead of him. I hope so. <laughs> you bet he has. Well, here's the coat. for a cactus. And take good care of the little lady. Oh. oh, the sun goes down in the western sky. I was born out here. Here I'll die with my horse and saddle and my old six gun. Nothing else to do till the roundup's done. The cows all bell her as they hit the trail. On moonlight night, high old quail. A cowboy's life is a lonely one. Nothing else to do till the roundup's done. Let's get going, Johnny. My stomach craves the chains of trail food and plain drinking water. There's worse things in a man's stomach than plain trail food, Cat. Mean and lead? Mean and lead. Well, I won't object, providing my stomach is protected against said lead with a big pile of flapjacks. Forget the banquet, Texas. We're trailing that stagecoach. And unless my hunch is wrong, There'll be a couple of samples of hot lead waiting for us. Here she comes, boy. Get ready. There's that hot lead I was telling you about, Texas. Yeah? I was tipped off to this. Let's get him. Oh, 
it is. Well, where's the rest of it? That's all there is. Huh? Well, the pasture makes up in quality what's lacking in quantity. You can drive on now. Well, we ain't leaving without our passenger. Oh, yes, you are. Pick him up. All right, Tex. Take him out of here. Come on, get out of here. No use, fella. Hurt along with the rest of them. Keep your eye on those numbers, Tex. I'll be with you in a minute. Thanks a lot, Johnny. That's all right, boys. Thanks for the tip-off. I don't know how to thank you, but I sure am glad you came along. So am I. Well, you better come on, Miss. We're losing a lot of time. Let's get to moving. Come on, you umbrace. Get going. Mayor's drunk again. No, you're wrong. That's the same old Jack. I'll be seeing you later, Joe. Don't be scared. Just a couple of boys on a lark. I'm not afraid of them. Well, you don't need to be scared of me. I'm a stranger here in town, and I'm sure lonesome. You've had about enough coffee. Pay your check and get out. Please, do as he says.
he'll get just what the others got. Who became too friendly with you. Please, Bart, don't hurt him. He's... I know what he is. And you know what he's going to get. You're just trying to break me. But I won't let you. Sooner or later, I'll succeed. Meanwhile, I can wait. Howdy, Miss Jane. Too bad that puncher. Do you want anything? Sure. But what I want ain't in the kitchen. Then you might as well go. I could help you if you'd let me. Bart Morgan thinks you're his friend. What if I told him about you? You won't. You wouldn't want to see me get hurt. Anyway, he wouldn't believe you. Must have been monkeying with Bart's girl. Take a chance, gents. Take a chance. Some will plant the rest of him. Hey, Joe, throw him out. Important news, Bart. A new marshal's coming to Cactus. And he's firing brimstone on wheels. 21 wins. Who's got that number? Well, that ought to satisfy the blue noses of this community. Where'd you get him? From down Rio way. What's this tough hombre's name? Dave. Johnny Dave. I heard of him. Hmm? a long trail, Cather. We're going into Cactus. What are Thompson? Well, remember, we got a long way to go yet. And I'll be expecting you back at sundown. If it ain't the roving, shooting Johnny Day. Hello, Johnny. Howdy, old timer. Ran into your herd back away and trailed you out. Mighty glad to see you, boy. We're sure a long way from Del Rio. Yeah, taking the beef to shipping. That is, I was, and till them cow punches of mine rolled up to Cactus. I sort of took a job as marshal in that town. Why, Johnny, that town is tied up purgatory and nursed on trance of you. Yeah? Sounds interesting. Johnny, you always were a home for trouble, and that town will give you plenty of it. Well, right now, Dad, I'm hankering for something to eat. Lunch really.
Now that Cather is short-handed and can't go on, I thought it'd be a good idea if I rode out and looked his outfit over. That is a good idea, Red. It'd be just too bad if his beef got mixed up with ours. It sure would. Where is this Gila? Gila's out here at the bar. Come on out, Bart, and I'll have you meet him. I'm going to take them cows to water. I'm going to take them home. We're going to put them through at night, Santa. I'm going to take that home. Hey, uh, Gila. I want you to meet Bart Morgan. Howdy, Mr. Morgan. Glad to know you, Gila. Hey, Gus. Set him up for the boys. The drinks are on the house. All right. Take them there, boys. Give me a little bit of red eye, Gus. Well, there it's all, boys. Meanwhile, I'm keeping an eye open for a non-Rio partner who's heading for a cactus on another trail. We'll be expecting you back in Rio as soon as you finish your job up here, Johnny. Well, see you later. Good luck, Johnny. Thanks, old-timer. So long, boys. Hey, that's Bart Morgan's girl. I know that pinto anywhere. Looks like she's back in the getaway. Come on, boys. Miss. Those men are chasing me. You had it. The bar struck a loud fist.
guess that's her finish. What are you going to tell Morgan? Why, the truth. She was running away, wasn't she? Running from him or you? We'll ride around the ridge and pick her up, boys. And remember, when we get to Cactus, I'll do all the talking. Where's your horse, Johnny? And where'd you get the fancy millinery? That's what Tex wanted to know. Belongs to a girl. Sort of blue-eyed and hair like gold. <laughs> Not throwing your wild oats, are you, Johnny? <laughs> I reckon I better go and feed the horses. <laughs> Doggone, I knew there was a gal at the bottom of this. Hey, Johnny, here comes your hat and your horse. Gee, it's sure unusual me meeting you again way out here. Yes, and lucky for me. I want to thank you for what you did. Oh, that's all right, ma'am. My horse. Oh, that's all right. I won't be needing him anymore. I'm leaving, Captain. You're leaving? That is, if Mr. Captain will let me ride with him. Oh. Just my luck. Stop this? Well, not exactly. Just sort of temporary life. I'll be, Miss Jane. Oh, Mr. Captain. What, you two know each other? Not very well. We didn't have much of a chance to get acquainted on our first meeting. Mr. Cather, ever since Dad died, I've been having trouble. Why, what's the matter? It's Bart Morgan. He's been annoying me. No one dare oppose him. And I'm afraid. Why, the dirty, mangy coyote. I don't want to be any bother. But if you don't mind, I'd like to ride to the railroad with you. Certainly can. You'd be more than glad to have. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Say, Johnny, there goes my horse. He's a fine lad, Miss Jane. Hide in the wagon there. I'll take care of you. I'm Red Thompson. The boys say that some of my cattle has mixed with your herd. I'm figuring on cutting them out. I reckon you'll find all my herd wearing the same brand. Sure about that, old man? Not much difference between my brand, the Bar Half Circle, and your brand, the Bar Circle. Meaning mistakes might happen. Meaning just that. Well, that being the case, I'll cut the herd myself. Yeah? Well, we'll be coming back. Well, when you come, come a-shooting. Where's the girl that was wearing that hat? There ain't no girl in this camp. No? Joe, search that wagon. There ain't anybody searching that wagon. Here I am, Thompson. How you got to this camp is a mystery to me. And I'll see that you don't get away again. Why, oh, you ornery. It's all right, Mr. Cather. If you don't leave me alone from now on, Red Thompson, I'll tell Bart Morgan, even if he kills you. Put her on the horse, Joe.
Come on, boys. Morgan's gang took the gal away, Johnny. I would have shut it out with them, but I didn't have a chance. Where are they headed? Cactus. Come on, Tex. We're riding the taxi. Circle herd is scattered all over the range. I uh, found your girl out there. She was trying to make a getaway, but I brought her back for you. Where is she now? Over at the Eaton House. Do right by a cup of strong coffee. You shouldn't have followed me here. Oh, I was headed this way, anyhow. Oh, I didn't understand. I thought. You thought right, ma'am. You know, it's sure contrary to my luck meeting you the way I did. Pete, them punches are overdue. And we got a hundred miles to go and I can't wait. I'm riding into Cactus to bring them galoots back. You know best, then. But if you ain't back by morning, me and what's left of the rest of this outfit will ride in and bust that town wide open. I'll have another cup of coffee, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. My name is Jane. And I'm known as Johnny. It's Bart Morgan. You'd better go. How about that cup of coffee? You've been here a long time, young fella. But he's a stranger, Bart, and I... And I think this is mighty good coffee. A stranger has a lot to learn when he comes to Cactus. The first thing is to move out when I move in. Is my language clear? It needs no further punctuation. But talking is like drinking. If you do it too fast, you're liable to get choked. I can do both without choking, mister. I wouldn't draw, Morgan. You're surrounded. I figure I owe you for three cups of coffee. Good night, Jane. Good night. Keep an eye on him, Tex. So you're stuck on him, eh? 
He means nothing to me. Honest, he doesn't. You know what's going to happen to him. You're making me hate you, Bart. If I let him go, would it make any difference? With us? Why, it might. Just as I thought. Well, a deal is a deal. Some folks, someone always must win. If you don't lose, you must win. The lucky number tonight will be number 14. Here it is, right here. Who has the lucky right number? Number 14 is the lucky number, folks. All right, change of paddle. I'm going to give it another turn. All right, here's going one more turn, boy. You dog gas at no good cop, you? What do you think, you're on a vacation? Listen, old man. We're through working for your mangy outfit. Why, you no good renegade. Get your men together and get back to them, chap. I reckon you got your answer, Catherine. So that's it. Conspiring with my men, eh? You little down Catherine, you. I Thompson, I'll give you a half a minute to clear out of here. Who are you to be ordering me? Yes, who are you and where's your authority? I'm Johnny Day, and this is my authority. Oh, the new marshal. Didn't I tell you that the aspiring brimstone on wheels? Your time's up, Thompson. Come on, boys. Keep an eye on them, Tex. A couple of you boys take him in the other room. Just a minute, young fellow. I have good reasons for not settling with you right now. But I'm warning you to clear out of Texas at once. Well, I'll be seeing you boys tomorrow. Johnny, you always said too much coffee was bad for the heart. Well, what about it? I agree with you. You drank enough coffee in that eating house tonight to float a battleship. Why, <laughs> I can hear your heart pounding away over here. Who is it? Get in the closet, Tex. Come on, get in the closet. This ain't no time for visitors.
I've come to warn you. You're not safe in Cactus. And you'd better go. I've been warned already. I know. Morgan let you off tonight. But he'll carry out his threat tomorrow. I sure thank you for your kindness, but I'm staying. For two reasons. One of them is old man Cather. Maybe you can guess the other. Don't you worry about me, Jane. Well, good night. Good night. sure cause a lot of trouble. Good morning, boss. Good morning, Bart. Hello, boys. Looks like the kid is saying for your plug. I just saw him looking out of the hotel window. More than one has changed his mind. If I were you, I wouldn't take a chance with him. I saw his draw last night, and he's faster than Grease Lightning. But don't worry, Bart. I'm going to slip you an ace in the hole. How? With this. And it won't be any reflection on you, neither. That's a good idea, Gus. Thanks. I gave him his chance last night. So, today, I'm collecting my winnings. When uh, Morgan is out of the way, we'll take care of the new marshal. Two thousand head of cattle running loose. Gus, we're holding the winning number. Come on, Tex, get up. Sun's been up an hour. Uh, uh, uh. Johnny, I figure there ain't no reason for much talk between us. But if our trails must separate, well, I reckon I won't be tarrying long to join you. Doggone you, Texas. Optimism always was one of your failings. gave your friend his chance last night, but he's still hanging around, so his boots will soon decorate the hill. Suppose, suppose he wins. <laughs> he hasn't got a chance. Bart, there's something I want to tell you about Red Thompson. What about Thompson? He isn't your friend. He's been annoying me for weeks. What the 
double crosser. Why, only yesterday. I told Cather that if he wasn't back by this morning, we'd bust that town of Cactus wide open. Well, he ain't back. Let's go get him. Who's in the herd? Oh, forget the herd. We're bringing back old man Cather. Come on, let's go. Hey, Bart, there goes your friend Johnny Day. Let him go. Please, just for me. Thanks. You're welcome. Ah, uh, you dirty yellow double-crosser. 
No, you can't have her. Hold your fire, Tex. The boys in the bar circle. Where's Dan Cathy, Johnny? He's gone. Gila got him last night. Where's Gila? Don't worry, Pete. That account squared. I came to this town for one reason, and that's settled. But I'm staying for another. Hey, Tex, grab that mayor. What do you want with him? Why, he's the only one in this town that can tie a wedding knot. <laughs> 